We got Jason Biggs in the mm-hmm. studio. New show coming out, out uh, outmatched on Fox. Yep. But uh, you know, you really you've been doing this for a minute, man. You've been in the game it's for a been long a hot minute, time, man. man. It's been a second. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's crazy, man. Like, I'm doing the show now. I'm a dad. To teenage kids, by the way, which is <laughs> that's you're how you know you're old. Teenage kids? That's yeah. how you know you're old. Yeah. So Why my do you ki- have kids? So our characters are we're high school sweethearts, had kids like, you know, right after Early. high school right. kind okay. of thing. Yeah. So we've got like a fifth, six. I thought you were talking about old. you personally. No, not like, me. Okay. My kid is six. I was no, like, no. hey, you're you're like what, 41 yeah. or something yeah, like that? 41, yeah, forty one, yeah. I was like, yeah. wait, how so old I have a, okay. yeah, no, I have a six year old and a two year old. It's way more manageable at the moment. Um but yeah, but in the show. And so but it's crazy to be playing a dad, have these kids, you know, and there's these kid actors around. I was a kid actor, you know, so um, it, it's it's sort of very, uh, f- you know, nostalgic for me to think Good. about, you know, I did, a, I did a TV show on Fox, actually, when I was 12 years old uh, that went one season and was canceled. What show was that? It was called Drexel's Class with okay. Dabney Coleman. Okay. And Brit- Brittany Murphy was on it. It was oh, on shit. Sunday nights. Uh, either right before or after The Simpsons, and it still bombed. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, yeah, it was a disaster, but I was one of the kids in it, you know, so like to see these kid actors now on their first TV show, or it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Um, and also, we just did an episode, this was really crazy, so last week, last week's episode that aired, I have the sex talk with my kids. <sighs> And it didn't even it didn't occur to me when I was shooting it. A whole week we spent filming that episode. It did not occur to me once until I was promoting the episode last week, and I was on my Instagram and I was talking about what the episode was about, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, holy shit! Twenty one years later, you know, I'm doing this TV show where I'm the dad having the sex yeah. talk with my kids, <laughs> yeah. you know, 20, 21 years after, I, Eugene from after I famously got this sex yeah. talk, you know, from my dad in a, in a movie. It was pretty, uh, Are these kids fucking any pies. I hope not, man. I'll tell you what, I, I really hope not. Is um, that a, but just uh, in case they are, I told them, I taught them how to do it. Safely. <laughs> Is that a, a joke or a reference or something you're sick of? Not, no. Get out of town. No, I swear. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Uh, you know, there was probably a period around 2004, 2005, you know, from being perfectly honest, where I'd done three of the American Pie movies. But in my head, I was like, you know, I, I want to be also known as something else. And I made mm-hmm. sort of like, you know, emotionally and in my work tried to do a sort of shift, you know, like I'm not just this guy, Mm -hmm. you know, I've got more to me. And, and, and there probably was some anger and resentment involved, you know, at that, at that point for me. And it probably lasted a little while. And I've come to realize now all these years later, and by the way, we did another movie. Like I kind of came around on the whole thing. We did a fourth movie in 2012, although that's now been a minute ago, (laughs) shit, (laughs) but still it, 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 um, it's like, you know what? It is the best fucking gift I've ever gotten right? in my life. I mean, it is the most fun I've ever had working on something. It's my favorite role. It's my favorite people I've worked hell with. Hell of a cast. It's fucking awesome people, good people. Yeah. And it's I got two kids, you know, in private fucking school. Mm-hmm. You know, I live in New York City. Paid, how, bills are paid, good dude, to go. How fucking lucky am I? Yeah. I, I like think that's beyond, like a natural you know? human real, oh, And you know reaction, what ha- Yeah, and you know and you know the and and I found this is true with anything and maybe it's just cuz I'm, you know, older and nostalgic and have kids and whatever, but um uh, but like you know, the minute you let go of that shit, it's yeah. like you, don't you, worry about you, yeah. the image. Or Stuff the, happens. The you know what yeah. I mean? Now yeah. I'm here like promoting a different TV show that yeah. has nothing to do with American Pie or anything like that. You know, right. it just kind of happens that way. You know. Right. This, so. That's. Do you think American Pie could have been made today? There's some uh, problematic shit. No, man, not, man. not that version of it. Yeah, not I mean, that. Not we, that. We, cer- we, certainly not some scenes. In we that recently movie. went back and we were watching the webcam. Scene like you, can't, you can't get away with Hell broadcasting no. a girl masturbating to the school, and everyone's like on nope. the edge of their seat watching. Unbe- it. Unbe- it was funny as shit, but I was like, without Whoa. her knowing, right? right. Like hey, absolutely like, not, man. Oh my I God. think that's no almost like, a, like almost like a badge of honor, though, for a show that doesn't work anymore. Like Porky's. When I was younger, like my dad was like, "We got to watch Porky's. We got to watch Revenge of the Nerds." Like those mm-hmm. were his. Movies. Those were the ones, and it yeah. was like. At that point, they still kind of worked, I guess, when they like the early '90s. It still wasn't that bad. Yeah. But it's almost like if you make a show or a movie so iconic that 
it's still watched in 20 years. Right. And it doesn't, it's still Translate like, whoa, that was a crazy time. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. you guys did, you were one of the last, well, that's you know, the thing. It's now pushing it's, the edge, pushing the envelope type of shit. Totally. Of well, now it's a time capsule, right? Yeah. Now it's like, oh, this is. Remember can, when we could laugh? Exactly. Remember when we could laugh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't say it, you yeah. did, but yeah, I mean, kind of. But, but, um, no, it is interesting. You know, it has been 21 years since that thing came and, out, man. And most importantly is that it, it gave you your career yeah. and paved the way to do Saving Silverman, which is exactly. the greatest, most underrated film. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the F word and call it a film ever. I, 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 I believe it's... I would imagine it's one of the most. When I know I like a movie is when Rotten Tomatoes critic score is low and audience score is high, <laughs> and and Saving Silverman is like 100 percent audience and like whatever on the critics. Oh, that's amazing! Ama- that to me is like one of the best cult classic movies. Thanks, like, man. Ever. It's uh, and it's very quotable. People come oh, up to me yeah. with those quotes a lot. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it just it's, comes out. Uh, it's it's pretty great. No, it's interesting because I was so psyched on that movie and we shot it, and uh, you know it was like one of the first things I did after American Pie and. You know, it was Jack Black and like his like second movie, yeah, and Steve yeah. Zahn, who's genius, and Neil Diamond doing <laughs> only his second movie ever after The Jazz Singer. Wow! And you know, we were just stoked on it. He's the Hell director yeah. of Big Daddy, and we were just like fucking around in Vancouver for three months, just laughing our asses off. That's thinking, what you can you can so clearly tell that, that in the you movie. were doing like, that. Yeah, we we actually just had Rob Rob McElhaney in here, and he was talking about how the most important thing is cast chemistry. Yeah, and because it, it fucking I don't know how it works, I don't know the physics of it, but it somehow oozes through. You can feel and, it. Yeah. Uh, you can totally. Feel it. And you, it's like. If you I, I I I described it as like a great Saturday, like it'll, like it'll be on cable or something like that, and right. it's. Perfect, because you, you watch it alone, you feel like you're watching it with friends. Mm-hmm. You just stop on it. You're hungover. You're sitting around. Exactly you're like, that. Oh, silver and exactly boom. That. Shit, yes, absolutely. I'll sit through the commercials. Commercials are on. Commercials you're like, great. Make it better. I'm yeah, yeah. Out, I'm <laughs> all the alt line where it's like you clearly said fuck, but instead yeah. it comes out fudge. You're <laughs> yes. like, great, great. Love it. it I makes love it, it even better. Yeah, yeah. All time classic, yeah. man. The, uh. You talk about how like, you've been in the, in the industry for so long. I didn't. I didn't know how. I didn't know since like childhood. I, American Pie was the first thing I saw you in. Yep. How are you normal? Yeah, you're a pretty normal cat. Like, Thanks, like man. I saw you. I don't. I don't. I don't remember if we talked. I might have been too scared to talk to you. But we were backstage. At, I think Pier 13 in OAR show. Oh and yeah. And yeah. it was. I might have said hi. I might not have. But I was like, he's just a fucking normal ass dude hanging out over there. And you've yeah. been famous for your whole fucking life. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. You only haven't aged a fucking day. Either. No, you oh, look yeah. exactly <laughs> the same. I feel fucking like a hundred. <laughs> you can imagine, but but uh, doesn't show. Thank you, guys. You're very sweet. You're doing wonders for my ego today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know, I think part of it is because I did it when I was so little. Mm. Like, I started when I was five. I got some cool little things. Got that, you know, Drexel's class in 91. Mm. I was like, oh, shit, I'm on TV. And then it goes away. You know, I did Broadway. Awesome. Then it goes away. You know, like, I had some cool little moments. Got exposed to the industry. Worked with some cool people. Learned a lot. But also realized early on that this shit goes away. But I feel like when... It is fickle. And, you know... And also credit to my, you know, so so in terms of like not taking any of this shit for granted, mm. totally appreciating it all, you know, uh, doing every job like it's my last, putting in the work and uh, and showing up. All that applies because I saw the sort of ups and downs of it, but also credit to my folks, man. They, yeah. you know, like I, you know, I would come into New York and I'd work with the other kid actors or adults, mostly adults I worked with, you know, and I'd be in this very professional world and, um, you know, where people were, you know, waiting, you know, getting me waters, you know, I'm like mm-hmm. six and they're like, mm-hmm. can I get you water? You know, you get all, it's hard not to get spoiled. When it's you're hard, right. Yeah. Yeah. But it, but when then you I go home to Jersey, you know, and I'm like, you fucking water, you do, yeah, fuck. do the dishes, do the <laughs> chores. Dude, it got up. my ass yeah. handed to yeah. me, man. Right. You know, right. I was just a regular kid. I get grounded. I get in trouble. I like had regular shit to do. I'd go to a normal school. I had regular friends who I'm still friends with today. You know that that I guess that's probably the most important. Because I think you're that's the about most how important. like you learn it goes away, and I feel like that's when most child stars or whatever would learn like that's when their first spiral comes yeah like, but if the you like if you can get through that first learning of it yeah that's when you're okay and yep. it's like it's so important to have just friends who are like not letting you think that you're anything dude not not yeah, have my, friends my, to support you my, my friends tell you what, man, are my the biggest, biggest like detractors right. my, my friends are the ones who are like shut the fuck up dude oh like, dude nobody, my friends nobody cares me, man, my friends you know? give me so much shit yeah. man it's crazy it's uh i'll tell you I'll, the most sort of nervous i've been for someone to people to see my work for an audience reaction was I got 
a VHS copy of American Pie. It was not, not even called American Pie yet. It was at the time, it was, I remember the VHS, I still have it somewhere. It says East Great Falls High on it. And I took this, v, and it was an early copy of the movie. And I had it, the movie didn't come out, we shot it over the summer and it came out the following summer. That Christmas in between, you know, I was living in LA, but I came home for the holidays and I had this copy of the VHS and I, all my friends, I told all my friends, all my high school friends, and we got together, we went to my one buddy's basement, you know, he had the big screen mm-hmm. TV, and um, we popped the VHS in, to, and I watched it with him, and I've never been more nervous. Yeah. Like, I was so... I'm I would not be able to do that. that. Yeah, I would have uh, I, I I at least left the room. Yeah. I, I know. I, I was pretty freaked, particularly for the pie scene, because yeah. I was like... <laughs> What the fuck are they gonna think? Yeah. Like this is because by the way, that was the audience too. Yeah, you know they don't not, like it. The movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, if they don't right. like it and their buddies in it, yeah. I am fucked. Yeah. And uh, I remember the pie, like the first image of me with the pie happened, and there was like this pause, and I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck, and then they just burst out laughing. Yeah. They could not fucking believe it. Most relieved you've ever been, right? Honestly, yeah. yeah. It was like, and it's so cool, man. It was just such yeah. a great moment for me. I was like, oh, this is fucking I fucking, great. it pays off, man. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> this might think, work tell, out. Tell the kids out there, you know, if, if you get your pie, <laughs> Listen, fuck it. If you're, fuck if, it, if, man. If, you're, if life gives Don't you Don't never pie, miss it. an opportunity <laughs> to fuck that pie. <laughs> Do you think that... Like you saying the um, the all title deal is that East, East Great Falls High. Yeah. How important do you think it is that it got changed? Mm, yeah. I was watching the Die Hard um, movies that made it the other day, and that was originally supposed to be called like Burning Tower or whatever. Oh. And I, I don't Die know Hard. if it's because the name has become so iconic. Like Chicken and the Egg sort of thing. sounds ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. partly. Or if it's because like American I mean, Pie American works pie so is, well on like, yeah. so many levels. It's so perfect, and now it's so closely associated with it that you can't picture anything else. But I I think it. I, I'll never forget the phone call that I got when they said that they were changing the title. I was like, to what? Um, and when they told me, I was, it was just that like, oh. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah of course. Yes. Right, That's right. it. There it is. And the you know, is it was history. just like, yeah. duh. And um, yeah, and it was... Uh, it, it, I was stoked. I forget what the question was. Yeah, it was me too. Anyway. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like we always do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, part of the other. But yo, it definitely helped. It definitely yeah. helped oh, yeah, the movie yeah, for sure. sure. Yeah. Like East Great Falls High, you just go, "What the fuck is it about?" American Pie says it all, right? Right. And also, and I was talking about this earlier. The thing for American Pie that worked so well, and this was before now we're sort of anesthetized to not just those kinds of scenes. I mean, now you got to go really big to like yeah. shock any of us, right? Mm-hmm. But um, the way they did the Red Band trailer, I don't know if you guys remember. So in the movie theater, they, you know, all, most of the, the uh, uh, coming attractions, the previews are, you know, there's a green. Yeah, it's clean, The following clean preview whatever, is rated, yeah. da, da, da. And this one popped up red in the movie oh, theaters. Yeah. And there was, a, there was a quick shot of me fucking the pie. And it was, people were, <laughs> it, it was a debate, right? It was like, do we want to give away yeah. what is probably the biggest joke in the movie? Or do we want to capitalize on yeah. it? Give them just a little taste and have people go, oh, fuck, what is that movie? And we did that. And it was a red band. So people were like, what is this red? What is red right. band? Holy shit, I'm not supposed to be seeing this movie. Yeah. I can't even see the trailer without an adult, <laughs> right? right? And this was right at the time the internet, so the internet was kind of ha- starting to happen starting to happen it went you know viral, viral in, as viral as it could whatever, go yeah, yeah. yeah but it was more just that word of mouth mm-hmm. kids were starting kids talked about it college kids were like did you see that movie did you hear about that trailer did you see you know you, they yeah. went and saw you know whatever movie the week whatever before they were like, yeah. did you see that thing and there was a crazy buzz because of that trailer and because of, and American Pies and people connected it was like yeah oh, American Pie why. holy shit he fucks a pie <laughs> and, and that's what kind of it was kind of the original viral marketing in a way yeah, yeah. yeah. wow totally when uh, you were when you guys were doing that movie did you ever think that like like Eugene Levy would be like the second coming of Eugene Levy, the, man. The, he, the Levy. Yeah, I always say yeah, Levy, yeah. Levy. Steve, you know who fucks me up? Steve Levy on ESPN. Oh, yeah, right. Fucks me up. Yeah, yeah, I always yeah, say yeah. Eugene he Levy. He is brilliant, yeah. though. That show, I mean, Shit's Creek is awesome. Shit's Creek is awesome. It's, it's like I, I never in a million years would have guessed. And I, I was much younger when I saw that movie, but I would have thought that, that you know, that's the dad and he does his own thing. Mm-hmm. And now with his second coming, I've realized that, oh, he's kind of been a legend forever. Forever. Mm-hmm. Not kind of, but he's been a legend Dude, forever. I mean, I, I grew up, I remember him in Splash. Armed and dangerous. Is it Splash? I yes. saw. That. I mean, I was like, he, he's he, one of those guys who's like. In he Africa. was the villain who kept trying to pu- to spray water on Daryl Hannah because he just knew that she was 
was a mermaid. So he kept trying to, he was the guy that he was, you know, trying to spoil the whole thing. Right. And he was fucking hilarious. He kept getting denied. He would get hurt. He broke his arm at one point. He was in like this giant cast. Um, then he did Armed and Dangerous with John Candy. He did a bunch of shit. I mean, of course, SCTV. He was, that was like, mm-hmm. that's where the legend was made. But um, but then, you know, he was just kind of. Like out of that whole cast. I mean, there's a lot uh, of up and coming kids. There's a lot of people already established. But, you know, but Eugene, he shines through. Right? Yeah, man. The old yeah. man still got it, you know. <laughs> still got it. It and looking better than ever. By yeah, the way. Oh, it's, it's yeah. It makes me and, and you see you're kind of new right there. You're like, yeah, I got a jacket on. It always makes me jealous that I have this stupid job where I can't wear a suit because I just I see people like him and I'm like a suit makes you he look looks smooth. So much yeah, better. he looks. Yeah, he's got the glasses. Salt and pepper, he's, got that, a yeah. he's got the whole fucking. Somehow thing makes on. the eyebrows cool. You know, yeah. like it's like <laughs> I wish I had big yeah. bushy eyebrows. Yeah. So uh, part of the other the other like half of our show we always take calls um, from people who have a lot of like fucked up ridiculous uh, relationships situations and mm. a big topic that we get asked about a lot or told stories about a lot are threesomes mm-hmm. and I am of the school of thought that they it's a good idea but execution is tougher yeah. than you think and yeah. you have lived that out I and I think you've proven me uh, correct on that one yes. but I and I knew the story but I just brushed up on it did I read correctly that it was Three attempts, like three nights. Yeah, I think we were zero for three, basically. I mean, after yeah. one, I'd it be like, was... oh, "Let's not do it again." After two, I'm definitely like, "Honey, we're not trying this again." Yeah, you went three nights in a row trying to have sex with a hooker. It and was failed not... all three. It was two. It was one <laughs> night, like in L.A. with a, mas- a massage therapist that that someone I won't name, a friend of ours. Implied, recommended, recommended, <laughs> right? Implied was, and we j- we so it basically. First of all, let me just say this: the whole thing, it was a j- comedy of errors. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just a disaster. And Which your wife's yourself. idea? Which yes, is- it was my wife's idea, and it was really. If you know my wife or any of her st- stories at all, she wrote a. You know, she writes these books, and they're and all the stories are true, but she, fucking crazy. She's a trip. Yeah, <laughs> she's a trip, and um, she. I, you know, it's almost like we were doing this for the story right. more than anything else. You That's know, what, like if I was doing something like this, I'd rather it fail. I'd rather. Yeah, it be funny. Happen. totally. Yeah, yeah. And so for us, it was just like we were. You know. We were recently married. We were best friends, and we were just kind of on this weird adventure together. I, in my mind, was like, oh, but it'd be dope to get a, you know, like, <laughs> be, but it never worked out for various reasons. The first time was, you know, we, we kept, we were like, oh, okay, game on, we're going to see. And, like, we kept dropping these, like, hints, like, you know, so. It's time to have sex. I forget, well, I didn't go that yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, kept, I kept, dropping, kept dropping these subtle hints. Hey, it's time to fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just very subtle, very subtle. Uh, uh, no, I forget, you know, we'd, like, kind of, like, oh, so, you know, she'd be like, okay, Andre, Get on the table, and I'd be like, I don't, you know, Jenny would undress, and I would undress, and we'd be like, not shy. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> nothing happened. If anything, she was like shocked. Yeah, and we were like, okay, and we kept texting our friend during the night, going, "Are you sure?" And she was like, <laughs> our friend was like, absolutely, she does for me and her boyfriend at the time, and we yeah. were like, Are, really? <laughs> and so we'd go like back in. If we go back in the room, we'd be like, all right, let's try this out. And it would just be a fail, 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 fail every fucking time. So we were like, all right, either you were fucking with us. And she she swears to this day she was not fucking And with you know us. you had the right person? Yes. Like it wasn't a mix-up yeah, or something? It was not a mix-up. She swears so this, to this, this day. She just didn't want to fuck you, Jason. <laughs> so that's probably what it was. But we did not give up. We were like, you know what? We have a trip to Vegas coming up for a friend's uh, birthday. Let's try it there. What let's go to hell, Vegas, right? It can't yeah. fail in Vegas. <laughs> Oh, dude, the first night was like just crazy. First of all, this, this woman came in and it was like not at all what, you know, was advertised. And, mm-hmm. and we were just like, okay, but okay, whatever, you know, like game on. And, uh, whatever, fucking ugly girl, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say ugly. I did not say she was ugly. I'm a girl not as advertised. <laughs> yeah. It's just a penis. I have one too. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, there's surely a place to put it. A hole's a hole, man. Whatever. Oh, fuck. Come on. Uh, (laughs) So... Yeah, so it came in, and then I didn't have enough money. I thought oh, I did. I was told one yeah. number, then another, and I was like, so I had to like run to the ATM, and then like I'm sharing an elevator with like the people whose birthday it was that I didn't want to tell that I was doing this thing, and, yeah. da, 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 da. and they're like, so what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, nothing, just rushing to the ATM to get money for a hooker, <laughs> you know? And and then my card was declined. It was a whole fucking oh, shit show. And then the girl finally was like, I gotta go. I have a nail appointment. True story. 
True story. So she fucking left. So we're like, well, night one in Vegas, a bus. Now we're 0 for 2. But the story is literally writing itself at this point. Yeah. And then the third night was like a little bit better. Uh, we got a little bit further, but it too became, it ended up being Jenny, first of all, could not stop laughing yeah. the whole time. I was like, babe, Was she really please. eating a bag of chips? She was eating a bag of chips, <laughs> literally eating a bag of chips on the edge, of the, on the foot of the bed, looking at me, like, could not keep a straight face. I'm like, Jenny, please, like, you got to keep a straight face. We got to take it seriously. Like, this is her job. And also, like, do you want me to, like, do you want me to do this or not? Like, I can't, I'm like, what's up? Because I'm not going to be able to do it if you're fucking laughing at me. <laughs> And then I just I lost the whole thing, and then it ended up being like a therapy session between Jenny and this and this woman, and like you know how she got to where she was, right. and they became like best friends, and like <laughs> I was like, all right, and then I was just drinking from the mini bar, and it just was like, okay, well, anyway, and then we, hanging out we, with the we, girls, we, we paid her, to, and she left, <laughs> oh. and that was it. I mean, the whole fucking thing oh, was man. just a disaster, I but mean, but a great story. But we anyway, get, we get a lot of like like funny ideas and calls on this show, and, and we're like, oh, it's a great movie. I mean, that's. That's I'm a movie. sure that's been told to you before. That's an un, like the birthday present. I mean, American Pie just, Five. I, mean, I was gonna say it really is American Pie. That was, yeah. and I was aware of it at the time. I was like, I'm literally life is imitating art. Right. This is my fuck. This is Jim. I am Jim. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, the whole Unreal, thing sounded man. way better than it, you know, than it was. No, but, but honestly, it ended up better than it, it ended up better than it could have been. It ended up better than it could have been. If that went smoothly and you perform and you go to town, yeah. I think you're still hearing about that today. I, I think I think she think you know that, that's think a, that's so. an idea on paper and I then agree. it's like remember that time like you fucked that hooker like you I never agree. fucked me before or whatever it is <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. something or just like or any just time she's asked me for something she's you know I can I like babe, I hold, babe it's not my turn with the kids I got you a hooker fuck you <laughs> yeah that's probably what her mastermind plan yeah, was yeah I know chicks I know. are always <laughs> three levels uh, ahead you know. I know, but anyway, the, yeah, I do not recommend it uh, <laughs> unless you're married to someone like my wife, yeah, uh, or you played a character in a movie like Jim, yeah. where you can kind of sense where it's going to go. Do not do it. By the it's way, not... just to go back to the pie real quick, I always wondered yeah. what were you what were you actually doing? Like you just held it and kind of like humped. Yeah, like so I really fucked the pie. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I uh, so it was like a uh, it was a hollowed out shell like you had the tin yeah but inside of it was like a styrofoam fake pie crust and i just kind of put my flush you know yeah. my, my flat uh penis <laughs> flush against the pie as if i was fucking it and then we put real pie pieces like around all the edges, around yeah. the edges and like up in my shit <laughs> dude later that night literally I was showering and st pulling literally pie pieces out of my fucking like, like my anus. I'm not kidding. It was fucking gross. This and this movie uh, better be a fucking hit. <laughs> yeah, dude. This better be a fucking hit. Is right. What the hell did I just wow. do? Well, that's, that's why I was like, so, like showing my friends the movie. I'm like, oh my god, please. Like if I, because because if they didn't laugh, then it's just I just you, my buddy just you know they're just I'm just a friend that fucked a pie, <laughs> right? Like you know that's what I mean? Like, like, I mean it's awesome. theoretical. Theoretically, you know, it's a movie, but it's also like, probably your most embarrassing personal moment you're sharing with your friends totally. at any point. Yeah. Totally. And, like, I one time, like, burnt a, a picture because it was me with a Barbie doll, and I was just scared that my friends would see that. Right. And you were the out there just fucking a pie. Yeah. <laughs> and what's interesting is, like, when I did it, there was no embarrassment. I was like, I'm going for it. You have to, right? Yeah, like, you yeah. can't How do old were you at the time? I was uh, 20. So I was okay. 19 when I That's auditioned. That's time to do fucking things on set. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? I'm surprised you were, you were fucking soft. I would have been like, I'm just going to put this thing. Uh, I'm totally man. method, guys. <laughs> uh, does Biggs have a fucking erection right now? Let's see. <laughs> yes, guys, I do. Okay. Okay, you didn't know you hired a Broadway method actor when Take you cast this, this role, did you? Yeah. yeah, you want me to fuck this pie? I will fuck the shit out of this pie. So um, did did, did Biggs come? <laughs> 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 yes, I did. Okay, yes, that is semen on the pie. Okay, um, I got a question for you. Yeah, going through we're we're you know hardcore researchers here, so going through your Wikipedia page mm -hmm. and get to the bottom of it. Oh boy, I haven't and, been on that in a minute. What and there's a part that says controversy and it says two of the funniest sentences I've ever read in a row where it says Jason Biggs caused some controversy about comments about flight 370 Malaysia flight 370 yeah and then it says Jason Biggs months later Jason Biggs caused some controversy about Malaysia flight 17 <laughs> oh, just out here talking shit about Malaysian <laughs> Airlines <laughs> big Malaysian Airlines thing. I don't remember either of them but you know <laughs> that controversy I, I once had a terrible that, flight on Malaysian Airlines <laughs> and I've held a grudge ever since uh, you know I 
don't remember. I guess. I mean, listen. If in the year 2020, your Wikipedia controversy section is that, you're doing good. I know. I mean, man. yeah, dude. What, I got. I got. Do you canceled know what it was? On, I got canceled on Twitter for a minute. Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, yeah, man. It was. Uh, it was. So what? Ha- so what happened was, I don't remember the first. I mean, so the first flight had crashed, right? And it was, um, oh no, dis- uh, disappeared. Yeah, the missing, the missing, right, the missing one. Which, by the way, did they, ever, was did they ever find that shit? Uh, no. I, I think they Pieces. pretty much know it was like in the in a swap. Yeah, mission, I think they no, they never found it. They, no. no, I don't think they found even pieces. Okay. I, I think they, they determined like so it's the first most thing was here, still but, missing. Like right. it was still missing. And then I was in uh, Mexico City promoting Orange is the New Black, actually. And I was in a van, I'll never forget where I was, and I was in this van with some of the other cast members, and we were driving to the next press event, and like the premiere was that night. And all, I just, I think one of us was on Twitter, uh, and someone's like, oh my God, another Malaysian Airlines plane crashed or something. And I was just like, what? That's insane. Are you serious? <laughs> kind of thing. Before I did any sort of research on it. Uh, this is how Twitter works. This is how research. Twitter works. Yeah. Or how it used to work for me, by the way. You're uh, just done with it? Uh, uh, he's pretty much, yeah, man. Yeah. No, it's, I use it to promote stuff. Right, and, right, right. and I and I read, so I get my news from it, but right. I don't I don't go there, man. Lessons were learned. But anyway, I, I just took to Twitter. And this was at a time when I was, you know, felt like I was being provocative. I ha- You know, I have a sense of humor that's it could go dark and just mm-hmm. kind of whatever. And mm-hmm. Twitter at the time for me was like this opportunity to show this other side of me and yeah, have yeah, some definitely. fun. And definitely. I wasn't working as much. So I thought, ah, oh, man. And for the most part, it worked. Like, I got lots of followers. And I was like, oh, they like me saying kind of fucked up things. And how it goes. Howard Stern, I how, I'm a big <laughs> Howard Stern fan, so I grew up with that kind of, like, provocative kind of thing. And I just thought, ah, obviously I'm no Howard Stern. And I learned my lesson. But, uh, but so anyway, I just, without thinking, I went to Twitter and I tweeted... Um, does anyone want to buy my Malaysian Airlines frequent flyer miles? <laughs> <laughs> that got you okay. fucking funny. So it, I thought it was funny. Yeah. Cut to, you ready? Within an hour, um, TMZ has me on their homepage. And it's, because um, I didn't know. So at this, so now they're finding, there's footage coming out of the wreckage. Yeah. And all lives were lost. Yeah. and all. Cra- yeah. So it's literally, you ready? TMZ's page. It was, the photo was the burning wreckage of the crash with my face <laughs> on the front of it. Jason, Jason Biggs, Biggs. Mox <laughs> dead. Mox, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, literally. No. Jason Biggs, Mox, whatever, yeah. whatever it was. That's, that's and, I didn't realize there was anything actually like that. Dude, I just put two funny sentences And dude, around. like, just boom, like that. And I was like, oh, oh my God, what the fuck? And you know, and this was at a time too when you know, I'm, I got defensive about it at first, mm-hmm. right? I was like, it's fine with us. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Which, it's by like the way, the tides, man. does not fucking help. <laughs> nope, okay. It never works. <laughs> never, yeah. ever, ever works. But just to be fair, real quick. It was funny. Oh yeah, don't so you are correct. Sir. You were, Thank you, you were just yeah. you were ahead of your time because like now like Malaysian Airlines is just it's a punch a joke line. now. It's yeah, just dude. a punchline. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not gonna go there, man. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I have PT- we, don't want, we don't want to have, have any. P- I have PTSD here yeah, on the whole yeah. fucking thing, man. And you know, listen. That, does, that must be hard though to like read because I, yeah. if I'm reading Twitter, I'm like, I have to say something. Yeah, you know, I, I, if I, I would either I'm either in or I'm out. I couldn't yeah. do what you do. Where it's uh, like, well, now it took a while, dude. Yeah. It took a fucking while, man. It was a lesson that took me a few years. That's to a learn. shame because you are. A, I can tell you're a funny guy, and, and that's like, what the world's missing out on some good shit. Thanks, man. And and um. And I feel like I'm a good guy. Like, I don't, yeah. you know, so for, like, to get this, like, reaction and have death threats, people on Twitter be like, fuck you, I hope you die and your family. And, you know, it's yeah. just like, oh, fuck, man, that shit lands. And, and yeah. it lands. <laughs> oh, you, you get it? Pun leave, intended. <laughs> <laughs> Not, unlike a Malaysian plane. plane. Oh, my God, that's fucked up, man. You're going to hell. <laughs> um, but the, uh, we've kind of said that, like, we learned that, like, it's one of those things where you say, like, because we, we, we work in the world, so we know. And it's like, just turn your phone off, and go to bed, and it'll be over in the morning. Yeah, Someone yeah. else is also quick. Done. But also, when you're in that storm, you feel like it'll never end. Mm-hmm. And it, you oh, feel dude. like, even Got if you know it's ending, you know, you, you know it's ending, and it just, your, your body just feels that hate. It's fucking crazy. To just, it's like, crazy. Well, and also, like, um, you know, 
I've I want to work. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. and and it's like that. You want to work on Fox? I want to work. I want to work, <laughs> man. Yeah. I want to work on Fox. Yeah. I want to be employable. Yeah. You know, and um, that kids to feed and shit now. That you shit know? doesn't. That yeah. shit doesn't bode well, man. No. It doesn't no, look good. It. It's not a good look, man. Right. And and you know, I it took me a minute to learn that lesson, and that was a that really. I mean, it was a long time ago, and it was a. I really and everyone says this, like, oh, it was a different time in my life, and I was a different, I was a different person. person. Yeah. But it's true, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, dude, that was before kids. That was before my whole fucking perspective on life changed. I don't I, get I was, why that is mocked because it's it's true. It's very normal. You do change, to have yeah. like, bro. Like, well, people was, feel it like it's an excuse. Ago, I was different. Yeah. People people go, well, you're well, still an some, adult. Some people do use it as an excuse. And yeah. It kind of ruins yeah, it for the people who really were like, but this oh, idea I changed as a person. Yeah. yeah. It's it's true, man. And you know, look, I, whatever hey, I have, yeah. I have. Right. At the right. end of the day, it's like I can't change it, man. Right. I can't change it. I can, but I can be something different. But honestly, like I said, in this day and age, if that is your controversy, even as bad as it may have been in the moment. You know, yeah, we've seen a lot worse out there. So it's true. Good man. guy, Jason Biggs, still still Thanks, in action, man. still in it, Fox, still in the game, <laughs> outmatched. Uh, which sounds, by the way, like like four different shows in one. You know, like the kids being geniuses could yeah. be its own thing. Big Bang, <laughs> Malcolm in the Middle, all together. Yeah, it kind yeah. of is, man. It's kind of a fun play on all that stuff. All those kind of. What was the um the the reasoning by putting in Atlantic City. I feel like nothing happens in Atlantic City anymore. Uh, that's funny. Uh, because <laughs> and I mean that. I it's mean true. That I'm from Jersey. No, no, no. I know, dude. Yeah. Atlantic City's so weird, right? I went it's for the such first time. Weird I went to the Borgata probably. It's my first time ever going to AC. And by the way, that's the only place to go. Right. I mean, or bear exposure, right? Is that the place you can bring? I brought a 30 uh, rack into that place. You can bring oh, your own is that beer and they get totally the naked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not around anymore. Yeah, it's not around anymore. Because I went to the boardwalk on that first time and it was like, it was raining that day and it was just, it was just those guys who are uh, rickshaws, I guess. Yeah. Right? But, they're, but they're just pushing it. They're not even rickshaw on it. They're just yeah. pushing a cart. And it was just them walking around in ponchos. I was like, guys, there's... Depressing. There's 40 of you out here. There's, yeah, but no one's doing just this. just me. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, if I wanted one of those rides, 39 of you can still go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, if someone comes out and actually wants to ride with one of you guys, yeah. like, do you guys, like, fight over it like a pigeon fighting over crumbs? Like, what happens? Like, do you guys have a... Is it you first in line? First yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you Rochambeau it's, 27 it's times? It's all just haggling until someone does it for free. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah listen, you want to charge me 40, but this guy... <laughs> Yeah, um, it is an interesting. But well, yeah. that's part of the. the show, but that though. is part yeah. of the reason. I think yeah. you know this is just a sort of blue collar working class family, um, you know, which which AC like. The, I'm always fascinated by these places that have the hotels and have the thing and the business and the money and the da 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 da. And then there's the other. Then there's the people that live the there. locals. Yeah, yeah. you really know cool. that that kind of always fascinates me. And so our uh, my wife, the character Maggie Lawson, plays Kay. Which she works psych, at. Psych. I was huge yeah, psych guy. She's so awesome. Not the best. She's the best. <laughs> So funny, so great. She works at the casino, right? Or one of the casinos, you know. So that's her kind of gig, and um, so there are scenes in the casino and stuff. But um, but also the creator of the show is from Jersey, further up northern Jersey. But uh, he just thought it'd be fun to yeah. you know set it in AC that we could kind of play with you know the themes Some there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, sounds you know. awesome, man. Happy you're doing good and Thanks, catch man. it on uh, Fox Outmatched. And we thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, it was fun. It was great. Yeah. It was awesome.